Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, are you ready for Fallout 1? Yes, I'm ready for Fallout 1. Okay, here's how the combat system works. So, it's turn-based. It's like super turn-based. If I want to move, I cost one action point per hex. Oh, let me make sure that my um, preferences are loaded properly. Um, I think it should have... I think there, there, there is another one. Oh, are there combat preferences somewhere here? All right, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. I thought that there was some ground highlight. I think I'm thinking of Heroes Two. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Um, but you know, this shows how many action points I have here. So, for instance, shooting once costs five action points. That's why it says AP five. If I want to do a targeted shot, it takes six. Uh, reloading costs two, but my gun's full, so that's fine. If I'm ever out of threat, I can just hit end combat, and I'm covering that up. You see, it's like. It's right, it's right, right behind here. It's where the end combat button is, but... You know, against these rats, I'm gonna try to get a little closer. See if I can be the initiator to combat, because if they initiate, they get to move first. So I have 55% chance of hitting him. And he's gone! And this thing down at the bottom is the most amazing little info panel. This is why I'm not in the bottom left today. Shot and killed for 12, so I'm probably going to shoot and miss here, just so you can see what the combat loops are like. Oh, I hit him! Oh, sick! For defeating your enemies, you earn 50 experience points. Fuck yeah. So I don't need to kill any of these rats, but of course I'm going to. I want experience. 50-50. Oh. So there's nearby hostile creatures, so I'm going to show what happens when I just end the turn, rather than end combat. My armor goes up. Right there. It goes up by the number of action points that I didn't use. So I missed. Got him! Dude, this is great. Just gonna reload, since we're out of combat. Now, of course, one of the awesomest things about Fallout uh, will be seen right here. This is really why I want wanted high perception to begin with. You have targeted shots. And this is, like, really relevant. If they have, like, a two-handed weapon, and you shoot them in the arm and it, like, critically injures them, they just can't use a two-handed weapon anymore. Uh, head does extra damage. Eyes is the most vulnerable body. Uh, you can hit them in the left and right leg, and then they, they can't move as far on their turn. I'm not going to do that because my accuracy isn't high enough yet. Oh, I shot him and didn't kill him. He's pissed. He's coming at me. All right. See, look at this. 95%. Boom. Done. Alright, so I'm trying to use my superior aiming. You know, like, this is what I like about this type of gameplay, is it is it's slow. It's, like, slowed down. Like, imagine if this was Diablo, right? I just run in there, I'm just like, kill, 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 run, 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 kill, 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 run, run, run. This slows it down a little bit. It makes me really consider what's up. Can I hit this asshole? Jesus, my bullets. He didn't even react, didn't even notice. Let me... Go ahead and end the combat here. Oh shit. Don't bite me! In the head. Bam. See you later. Uh, also, the violence is incredible in this game. It's like very stylized. He found me. In the head? Nope. Gotcha. So, I'm... Yeah, I'm actually nowhere close to getting extra XP. Oh. Oh. I gotta be very watchful of my ammo. I've already used a lot of bullets. One thing that's really lovely about this game is that there's a lot of subtlety put in to little things like. See where it says there's a large amount of rat feces in this area? Messages like that sometimes don't appear if your perception isn't high enough. Let's aim for the head, shall we? Oh, shit. All right, team, fall back. Oh, okay. Let's shoot him again. God. Don't bite me. Okay. Large pile of bleached animal bones. At least you think all the bones are animal. 
And just listen to this great moody music. This game is just a masterpiece, man. Get shot. Shit. Yes. I'm just trying to gobble up all the experience. I don't even care what the percentage is. I'm just going to clear them out. Oops. So a targeted shot on his... You know what? I think we can hit 11%. You know what I'm saying? Nope. So, uh, sequence... Um... Can sequence goes up? Jesus. The sequence determines how quickly and how often it's your turn in combat. So we're seeing this pay off a lot here, where I'm getting like two turns in a row and stuff, because rats got no sequence. Also, you can shoot and miss and hit the guy behind. That's like one of the greatest. Where you like miss a dude and kill another dude. Getting them. Oh my god, this is so excellent. Ah! Uh, I haven't even been bitten yet. This is awesome. Saving all my stim packs. 450 rats. 25 rats killed in battle. Hold shift to run, which I'm totally gonna do. But I think that there was. I think there's like an item somewhere in here. I think maybe not. Items are so hard to see in this game. Which, I think a modern designer would be like, well, that's a problem. You need to... Oh, shit. You need to make players aware of where items are, but I sort of like it in this aesthetic. It doesn't feel out of place. It, it very much so plays into that, like, post-apocalyptic scrounger type feel. Heading out. Did I get them all? Yeah, 500 experience. Oh. Okay, so. Gonna save it. Sometimes I have a habit of so save, load, save, load. So this is. Sometimes, right when I finish a sequence, I like load the game again. <laughs> you know, I like hit F7 and reload, and I'm like, <gasps> just like lose all my progress. Okay, let me actually get a straw poll going really fast. Straw poll. How many of you have played Fallout 1? I have. I never have. Alright. Straw poll. I want to know how many people have played. I have. These results are going to be a little hard to show. Um, yeah, because of the way that the screen is eating up. Um, I mean, you can see the results if you look at the post and chat. It looks like, oh, wow, out of about two-thirds have never played Fallout 1. Oh, my God, what a delight. Oh, God, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Let's go to the wasteland, shall we? So here's the world map. I can go to the town, right? So here's the cave entrance. You can actually go back into the vault at the start of the game, but I didn't really want to. There's a number of quests that are in the vault, but fuck, I'm not interested in the vault. I'm interested in the world of Fallout. God, this is so good. So great. Yeah, so out of a thousand boats, almost exactly two-thirds have never played it. So what I'm going to do is, if I scroll over, Vault 13's over here. And I'm just going to go over there right now. But I can actually just go anywhere. So I can visit wherever the heck I am. But um, 
I'm not going to do that here. I'm actually going to go to Vault 15. But I still remember my brother and I playing this. And we went all the way over to Vault 15. We started to do that. And Nick restarted the game and said, What happens if I just go west? And he started and he went all the way west and encountered this crazy military base. And just got murdered there. And we were like, we gotta get strong enough to go to that military base. And I still remember how long it took us to figure out how to play this game, to be able to get back to that military base, to be able to win it. Let's see if my luck lets me get into some good encounters. Oh, perfect. So here's what makes it exciting, you know what I'm saying? Where you're wandering, you just get this like, oh, this delight. What is this place? Open the shady sand, stranger. Please holster that weapon you have there. Uh, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm also going to rest a little bit. Let's see here. Rest for two hours. Just so it's daytime. Good day, I am called Seth. How can I help you? I'd like some information. Information? What do you want to know? I want to know about this place. I must have Facebook open. I do. Comment on my post. I'm finally able to watch. Hello. Hello, day fine. Shady Sands is a peaceful community. We have our own irrigation system, so we can grow our own food. If we, if we were not plagued with raiders and rad scorpions, we would have had we'd have no problem. What do you know? It's questing time. I want to know about the rad scorpions. These damn rad scorpions have been after our brahmins since we moved here. Not a week goes by that someone doesn't get poisoned trying to keep them out of the pens. Last week they took my brother Jarvis. Raslow, our doctor, is looking for an antidote as quickly as he can. Hey, if you have the means to help us, why don't you talk to our leader, Aradesh? I want to know about this place. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, this is the same thing as before. I want to know about the raiders. They're a small group of raiders. I organize guards like Ian to help fight them off. There is one band to the southeast of here. Watch out for them. Do I want to go to the Red Scorpion Caves? Are you sure you want me to give you directions to the Red Scorpion Caves? I can't go, but I can show you the way. No. Okay, just let me know when you're ready to go to the caves. Great. So I have a pit boy. And I can go to certain statuses, and this is where my quests are. Uh, it generates maps and stuff, but I've, I don't think I've ever used these map systems. Archives. Oh, this is just the start of the game. So here is one of my favorite aspects of Fallout. I'm going to go ahead and save. You have a skill dex that you can... You just have skills that you can use all the time. In particular... I have a steal percentage at 30. So I'm going to walk up behind this guy and I'm just going to steal from him. <sighs> Bottle caps. This is the currency in this game. And I'm going to take him. Oh, shit. This is why we save. Okay, so I'm, I've am i screwed up. Here's the way that getting caught works in Fallout. If you get caught... Every single person in the entire town tries to kill you. So I don't... I've lost this town. We're not going to be that hardcore, right? Uh, so I'm going to reload, but before I reload... Oh shit, I have to... End turn. He's probably going to shoot me. See, look, everyone in the town is trying to kill me. They're all taking turns to wander... Look, everyone's coming at me. So there are, like, I've played through the first half of this game where I kill every single person in the entire world. Let's go for the eyes. Shit, I missed. I want to hit him in the eyes just once. Oh, God. Oh, God, low endurance biting me. Oh, he missed and killed the other guy! <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can hit him in the eyes once before we reload. Okay. I gotta reload and then try to hit him and then I'll reload. Ah, shit. Okay, let's F7 this. <laughs> See, this will make this game fun. Alright, let's... Uh, sir, I would love these bottle caps. Uh, there we go. And the rope. Okay. And see, look! 
I get experience for doing that. This blew my mind as a kid because I realized that I could be sneaky and sneak by stuff and steal stuff and all this other stuff. And I can get experience. It's not just... So there's like... You can go through this game just talking. Uh, and get tons of experience and complete tons of quests. Welcome to Shady Sands Traveler. My name is Katrina. My job is to greet strangers and to help them understand our village. We find that there are fewer problems if you listen to what I have to say. Tell me more about yourself. My life was very boring. I was raised in a vault. I lived there for many years. Unfortunately, we were crowded and life was very bad. There was a schism and many people left, taking with them the best equipment. Still, some of us tried to stay in the vault, but then we were attacked. I was hurt and I ended up here. Now I try to help people. Intelligence opens up more options for me in conversation. Charisma lets me have more power of impact. By the way, I got the rope because you need the rope to, uh, you know, do stuff. What should I do if I get hurt? Well, if you can't get to a doctor, you will need to heal yourself. Stim packs are a common healing item. Use them on yourself to heal minor wounds. First aid is a slower method, but is always available. For major wounds like a broken leg, you will need to use a doctor's skill. That's part of the skill decks there. We're going to get some better equipment. You will have to do like we do. Scavenge it or trade for it. If you're attacked, your foes might provide equipment if you live long enough to loot them. We are a peaceful community, so we mostly barter or trade for the items we cannot produce. Oh, okay, so this, this is just like tutorial at the front. Tell me more about bartering. Bartering is the exchange of goods. You give me some items, I give you some items and trades. To initiate the barter, I will let you pick and choose what you want. But the deal must be one that I think I will like. So you'll probably want to give me more valuable goods than you don't need in exchange for less expensive things that you want. Just explaining the concept. Oh yeah, bottle caps are the only common money found out here. The caps are backed by the merchants of the hub, so you can trade them anywhere. Where was this vault of yours? It was Vault 15. Ooh, it is due east of here. We tried to make contact with some other vaults, but we always failed. I think it was the raiders who attacked my fellow dwellers. Be careful. Tell me about the rest of the world. Oh. I know very little of the outside world. I escaped from a vault when it was attacked. Oh, shit. Unfortunately, I was very hurt and do not remember much of what happened, but Dharma was watching over me, and I was found by the people of Shady Sands. I live here now. Have you spoken with Ian yet? He is a merchant guard who was hurt. He is recovering in the guardhouse over there. She points to the east. He is more widely traveled than, than I. So, this is the bartering thing. This is the way the system works. Oh, look at this. See, this is this is the cruelty of bartering. See how this is worth 100 and this is worth 138? Yeah, yeah. That's all for now. Let me go ahead and uh, take a step behind here. Let me uh, F6 and go ahead and try to steal from this. Oh, what do you know? I had no idea you had this. I'd love your stim packs as well. I love I love stealing. Stealing is great. Welcome, stranger. We don't see your kind often. Why not? Look, Shady Sands don't need your kind from the hub or junk town, wherever you come from. We do pretty good by ourselves. The last trader from the hub sold us a malfunctioning irrigation pump. We've had it with your dirty deals. You got all wrong. It's not like that. Yeah, right. So you say. Just don't get into any more trouble, okay? Yeah, whatever. What a jerk butt. Oop, I got I to open this. Oh. I save a lot in town. Oh shit, I want this. Dude, ammunition is so important in this here game here. So, uh, I'm gonna commence operations steal everything. You know what I'm saying, Kleptoshawn? Welcome, stranger, we don't see your kind. Why not? Okay, you got it no problem. Are these all the same person? Uh, thanks, bye. Not so fast. This is a small community. We don't see strangers often. We really don't need them if you're meaning. If you have a good reason to be here, you better just keep moving. Hey, ain't got hurt anybody. I wasn't saying that you was gonna. You just better leave us alone. Oh, yeah, I can just fight him. Sick and tired of your trash. Prepare to meet your maker. I'll try not to make trouble. This is Ian. <laughs> I'm Kurleko. Hello, stranger. You look like you're new here. What's your name? I'm Kurleko. Good to meet you. I'm Ian. What do you do here? 
I was a guard for the merchants of the hub. However, I was shot during a raid by bandits. I've been staying here since the people have helped me recover. Still, my knowledge of the outside world and my experience make me useful here. Shady Sands is my home now. Occasionally, I even try to visit Junktown or the hub to do some trading, since I'm the only person who's ever really left town. Sorry to hear about your injury. Thanks, it's been healing up well, thanks to Raslo. What can I help you with? <laughs> you can help me with the options! Tell me about the raiders. There are three groups, the Khans, the Vipers, and the Jackals. They pretty much hate each other, but they all raid Shady Sands. Tell me more about Shady Sands. It's a small, self-sufficient community. The only trouble is with the bandits and the Rad Scorpions. Why are the Rad Scorpions trouble? They're very dangerous. They have a poisonous stinger in the tail, and they're very quick. Aradesh has been trying to find a way to get rid of them. If you feel brave, you should talk to Aradesh about them. Tell me about the raiders. Oh, yeah. Tell me more. Are there many bandits? There are several. Seth organized the guards to help them fight off. Oh, tell me about Seth. Very brave fighter. He occasionally goes to the Rat Scorpion Caves to kill a few Rat Scorpions. But they always wind up coming back. There are just too many for him for too many for him to fight. Are they really that dangerous? Very dangerous. I don't know why it keeps booting me out. Can you give me directions to the hub in Junktown? The hub is a big trading center far south of Shady Sands. It's run by several different caravan groups of merchants. The water merchants, the Crimson Caravan, and the Fargo traders. Junktown is a little south, and a ways west. It's smaller, but still a good place to drop in for a drink. It's overseen by a fellow of the name Killian Darkwater. Damn! I, oh, that name, the memories. The local sheriff, shopkeeper, and mayor. Could you help me out a bit? Your experience would be useful. Hmm, tempting offer, since this place gets boring. Tell you what, standard rates, 100 caps, you've got a deal. How about a piece of the action instead? No, I don't think so. Come back when you have some caps. <laughs> how, do I, how do I give him 100 caps? Do I just do it like this? And then steal it back from him? Oh, I don't even have the option. Oh, that's why. I was like, what? Well, time to... Uh, let's go ahead and save, and, uh... Ooh, Ian. Let me steal some caps from you. I think I'm gonna leave him with this, because he's just gonna... Deal. Looks good. Alright, I have an ally! Give me these fucking caps back. <laughs> oh, incredible, yo! Yeah, let me go ahead and save that game. Oh, God. Oh, that, that feels nice. That feels good. Now that we're a team, give me those caps. He follows me around. Okay, how, how does this options thing work? Um, I need to change formation. What distance do you want me at? Stay close. What weapons are you skilled with? Bishop with any sort of pistol, and I can use a submachine gun too. I also know how to handle a knife. Okay. Try your best weapon next time we go into battle. Nothing, never mind, Ian. I think there's another bookshelf in here that I missed. And see, the thing that I always love about this sort of game is that, like, I'm not the star of the world. I'm like one person in this already existing ecosystem. Still need to expand the irrigation. The Rad Scorpions killed again last night. Is that so? Oh, interesting. Nine bottle caps. Interesting. Intriguing. Stop moving. Stop. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Stop moving. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, up, up, up. Oh, you successfully steal the bottle caps. How's my experience doing? Oh, I'm close. All I have to do is steal from a few more people. Ooh, a scout handbook. I'm taking that. Um, this is a great way to learn skills. You get books. So, like, if I go to my character screen, my outdoorsman is at negative nine. But I'm gonna read this book. I think I gained like 55 experience too. I think that's right. I learned a lot about wilderness survival. Look, negative nine to one percent.
You see a finely crafted clay pot. This poor woman, she's worried about the irrigation. That's the least of her problems, though. She's... Oh, I already stole from her. Come here. Long-range thievery. Four bottle caps, good enough for me. Stealing from everyone. This, this this is gonna be a lot of the game, by the way, is me just stealing from absolutely everyone in the entire universe. And a knife is good too. No! Let's go ahead and reload. Let me actually do the prudent thing. Some save game micro. I think I'm gonna level up if I steal this, and then steal a second thing. Oh, yeah. Now, this should level me up. Shit, I gotta steal from both of them again, man. I, I have bad save, reload, steal micro. See, the, the, the sort of emotional compromise I make is that I, I could just keep a really low steal skill, and just reload endlessly. God, one more. But that feels cheap. So I level it up and reload anyways. <laughs> it's just... Isn't that nonsense how that makes me feel okay? Please do not take my things. Who are you? You look distraught. Are you in need of assistance? No, I'm not in need of healing. I think she has some stim packs on her, if I recall correctly. 15 ball? Yeah, she's good. Oops. Oh shit, she's gonna punch me. Well, let's go ahead and uh, pull this out and do this before we reload in the eyes, I think. Alright. Sucks. Oh my god, Ian just shoots anyone I shoot, Ian! That's my boy. Alright, let's, let's seriously steal. Because I really, I want all the bottle caps, and I also want to level up. Come on! Ugh. Oh. She told me not to steal her things, and I'm stealing her things. Again and again. Yes! Character level up. Ooh, look at those 20 skill points, baby. Stealing. Seems good. Gone up a skill level. This is the doctor. I'm Roslo. Can I help you? Not right now, but it was nice meeting you. Okay, so here's the doctor. I think the doctor has stim packs. Feels good, man. Let's open up these curtains. Reading books and stealing things. Marlin flashbacks. Hello, I'm sorry, but I'm not feeling too well right now. Please, if you can help find a way to fight the Rad Scorpions, talk to my brother Seth. Oh, so this is the sick brother. That's right. I, I remember. We owe a lot of people money because we've just come and stolen from everybody. I'm too busy to talk right now. I've got this meal ready. Hmm, that smells really good. I bet it tastes great. Why, thank you. I'm sure you will enjoy it. Thanks for the compliment. I'm gonna tell all my friends about you. Damn, I'm I'm popular, man. Your business in Shady Sands might be. I'm not the only voice actor in this game. From a small village west of here, I'm just exploring and mean no harm to you. What's it to you? My reasons are mine to keep. I'm from a vault to the west. When people are dying of thirst, I need to find a water purifier chip. Hey. You're my kitty cat. I love you very much. You meow very loud. Alright. You know? I think what I'm gonna do is just, uh... I'm gonna be honest. Wanderer, I shall believe you. For now. You may enter Shady Sands, but be warned. Your every move will be watched. Makes sense. I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. Certainly. What do you wish to know? 
<sighs> What's going on around here? Oh my yes, great packs of rad scorpions are killing our herds. We don't know where they're from, and no matter how many we kill, there's always more. Go and on. Now the monsters are attacking my people. Oh, his people. Roslo is trying to find a cure for their poison, but I'm not sure how it goes. Well, I'll help you get rid of these things. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Please talk to Roslo. He possesses far more information on these creatures than I. Dude, see, this is this is every single person in the game has three states, which is neutral, happy, or sad. So we've made him happy. Greetings. What may I help you with this fine day? You talking about shady sands? Much like a family, one that keeps to itself. Are there any cities around Junk here? Town lies south of here, though there is little in the way of visitation. From stories, I'm certain there are cities south of that. Certainly. What do you wish to know? Please hurry and rid us of those. Rad scorpions. A uh, quick question. Give me everything you have. Ah! I don't need to do this. Look, I'm just gonna steal his bottle caps. He's fair compromise, right? Keep your spear. Who's Hi. this? Is Tandy? I heard there was a traveler in town, but I was kind of skeptical until I saw you. My name's Tandy. What's yours? My name is Corleco. Well, how do you like our little town? Bored yet? Despy, Despy, Cat Dad's playing a game. Not now, Despy. You, you want to lie down? You want to lie down? Okay. Okay. Oh. Wait, where, where'd your box go? Where's your box? I think, I think, I think my kitten moved the box. Okay. Uh, it's okay, I can ask you questions. Hell, this doesn't do, but we'll watch the Brahmin, mate. Finally, someone else who sees. Of course, you've probably been everywhere, so this this must be hell for you. She loves that. Yeah, lie down on the plastic. It's a good kitty. You're such a good kitty. This cat, I love this cat so much. Dude, if I was on a date with someone and the entire time they were just... Me? Leave? I wish. Oops. I don't know enough to leave alone wants to go. Shit. Worst of all, my father says he would have a heart attack if something happened to me. Shit. Sure, I guess. I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. So, what you need? What else is around these parts? There's a bunch of cities down south, but since you're such a great traveler, I'm sure you know that already. Dude, she's all no about No problem. Me. Anything else? What's going on around here? Same as always. Boring. Just story from down south? No problem. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. I mean, it is home and all. But it's so boring. You know, I want to see the world. Hmm. Me? Leave? I wish. Sure, I guess. I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I Oh, uh, that's it. Thanks for your time. Thanks for talking. Bye! Oh, God, Tandy. She... Oh, my God. I wish I had more sex appeal. Also, do you have any money? I, uh, I demand a loan with 0% interest and no intention of paying it back. Ship that and ship this and uh, I'll take a knife. Boom! 60 experience is what I'm talking about. Um, so let me check my inventory and see how much weight I'm at 29! Oh my god, I can carry the world still. Also, I have Ian. Ian's my mule. Oh, and get some rocks, man. Dude, I'm gonna sell the shit out of these knives when I can. Hey, sweet kitten, please move. That's my sweet kitten. All right, let's talk to Roslo. Uh, actually, let's not. Let's keep exploring. Kitty, kitty, just don't get... Not the microphone. Hold on, I gotta go get the box. Nico, it's the box. Get into the box. Come on. Come on, go in there. Let me just place you into the box. Yeah, you're tired. You don't want to go into the box. But look, it's, it'll be better for everyone. <laughs> She's annoyed, so she just lies down. And it's, uh, yeah, you're in the box. 
Okay. Dude, Tan Tandy's wandering out. She's on a mission. So, um... Areas of the world are broken up by, like, a fully loaded screen. Is there anything in here? It's a toilet. Oh, it's... Hey, it's the toilets! I love it. See, it's a little touch like this where there's an outhouse. I love storytelling without storytelling, like environmental storytelling, you know? Like, here's the guardsman barracks, and here's the outhouse. That's probably what the guardsmen use. The fact that there's beds and there's places for cooking to happen. And over here is, you know, farming stuff. Hey, dude. Good day. Hello. What can I do for you? What's your name? I am called Curtis. What can you tell me about your village? Our village is small, but we support ourselves. Aside from the attacks by raiders and the occasional rad scorpion, we have no problems. Aradish is a good leader. What are you doing? I am a farmer. We irrigated the desert many years ago. Although the wasteland is harsh, it is possible to grow things with patience and time. I see. You seem to be doing pretty well. What can I do for you? What are you doing? I see. Nothing. Thanks. F6. Click behind. 3. Click. Ship the... Oh. Fruit. I don't need fruit. Plant. It looks to be mutated cabbage to you. It seems to be thriving in the warm weather. I love that I can just click on stuff and look at things. Look, we got- oh, look, it's Brahmin! If you don't know the lore of Brahmin, Brahmin are two-headed cows, dude. Look at this shit. Look at him. Now talk to him. Moo! Oh! A two-headed mutant cow. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Shady Sands! What's the deal with this place? We are a true community. We work and share together. How do you survive out here? Who's your leader? Thank you. F6. Look. Is the well out? If I repair this well? You cannot repair that? You learn nothing from the well. Oh, by the way, there's a science skill. So sometimes you can just, like, use the science skill on random objects and learn stuff. But the only thing I really need to learn is how much money she has. F6, three click. Come here. Hi. She's carrying a gun. Disarm her. Shit. Ah, she's punching me. Ah. F7. Dude, guns are worth a lot. So I, I definitely want to steal that. So my technique is, uh... Shit. I want to steal, like, all the things so that way later in the game I can just, like, trade for all the stuff I need. I also try to stay organized so I, like, pull the ammunition out of all the guns. So that way they stack up nicely. See, we're actually making quite a killing here. This is great. I love going out and looting, collecting resources. Take from some more farmers. <laughs> it was hard to trade after the day the stranger came through town. Literally every single bottle cap in the entire town was gone. We don't have any currency in the village. <laughs> oh god, I really like stealing. It's really fun. Look at this. Oh god. I mean, the reward is not only in itself nice. I like to not steal for some people, because I like that feeling of role-playing a little bit. I don't need a second rope. I learned a little bit about Outdoorsman. So now I'm at 10% Outdoorsman skill. Great. Ah, I didn't need to do it. Oh, crap. See, I, I gotta quick save micro more often. This is this is kind of the issue I have with this sort of steel system. Is it like it's just so easy to save and reload? It's like way way too easy, right? See, at this point, at this point, I feel I feel guilty, so I'm not gonna steal from. Him. I'm gonna steal from someone else, but. I think I've explored almost everything. Because I feel like he got me, you know? It's hard when there's no consequences, so I just am creating rules that make the game feel good to me. No, I think I've already stolen from her. Forgot the rope? No, are you kidding me? I already got the rope. Hey, look, 
it's rope. Is that a sledgehammer? Like, really hard to see the items. I think this is everything. Here, yeah, Rams is after a couple of reloads, he feels guilty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, always happens eventually in these games. I think we've explored everything we need to explore. Where am I? Here's the order I'm going to go in. I think I'm going to do the scorpion thing, and then I'm going to go to the vault, and then I think I'm going to do the raiders. Let's do it. Talk to me. What do you know about rat scorpions? Not too much. They seem to be extremely large versions of the North American Emperor Scorpion. Contrary to my medical knowledge, their poison has grown more potent, not diluted as I would expect. Seth has been hunting them, which helps some of my test. And how such a large creature can even be possible by natural evolution or even radiation-induced mutation is beyond me. You seem well educated. What are you doing here? Doc Morbid in Junktown taught me some, and just because we live in stone huts does not mean we are less intelligent or educated. Have a nice day. What do you know? Done. Anything else? They seem to be sensitive to light and nocturnal. If you can get a sample of their poison, especially the venom-produced sac in their tail, I could create an anti-venom. Thanks. Who's ready? Let's go. Take me to the caves. Yes. So this is the exiting. Oops, let me equip my damn gun. Oops. Are there scorpion nerds about? You ever played this game with a low intelligence character? Dude, a low intelligence character is so funny because all you can do is go, ugh, grr, ugh, and grunt. I do it on my uh, murder runs. Any scorpions around here? Oh shit, there they are. This is gonna be tough. Oh god, I have such low health. Can I equip these? That's really useful. I'm gonna keep that there. Ian's in the way. I don't want to shoot Ian. Alright, let's begin. Bam! Was hit for five hit points. Yes, Ian! For five! Any whiffs. Here comes the scorpion. Alright, hold on. Let me go to the preferences menu really fast. Let me slow down the combat speed a little bit so I can enjoy this a little more. Saving it. Quick saving it. Alright. Let me look. It looks severely wounded. Okay. Almost dead? Okay. Let's see if we can kill it. Shit. Do it, Ian! Kill him! Yes! Scorpion tail. Let's take that. Quite a ways to go for more experience. Jesus, there's so many of these. Okay, I'm gonna do a little more exploring. I think down this way. Let me actually, I wanna check something really fast in my inventory. God, I wish I knew how the armor system worked a little better. So there's some more JHP. You know, I'm going to do something odd. So JHP and AP are different kinds of ammo. 
Oh, fuck. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shoot him with the normal one. So that dealt six. I'm going to switch weapons, which you can do for free. I'm going to shoot him with the armor piercing. Shot for six. I, I'm detecting no difference. Damn! 18 critical. Holy shit. Okay, let me armor piercing shoot him a little bit. Critically hit for 10 hit points. Okay. God! Ian! Incredible, Ian! I... I... I've ne for anyone who's played this game, I have never ever found armor piercing to be that useful in the early game. I think they're like if someone has like power armor, I think I want it. All right, I picked up that 10 millimeter JHP. I think they all just have scorpion tails, so I don't need a crap load of scorpion tails. Let me actually get my stim pack over here again. Some more JHP. See bones. Uh, Frig says, Why haven't you installed the high res patch for this game? I did not know it existed. Another one of those why haven't you, why didn't you style questions. Such a danger. Alright, let's see if we can shoot this nerd. Okay, this is a good range. Where's he in? Okay, he's close to me. Great. Bang! Ba oh. Shit. Yes, Ian. Don't shoot me, Ian. Ow! Ian, I just said not to shoot me. Fuck. Yes! Damn it, Ian. Use a stim pack. Uh, Alright, for 12 current points. Fuck, Ian. Four down here. I'm gonna sh oh, let me get the hell out of the way of Ian. Ian, he's not fun at parties. He shoots everyone. God, getting poisoned sucks so much. Jesus, Ian is awesome. What's my favorite Fallout? Ah, uh, maybe you're just one. I gotta play through two again. I am in the worst position. Don't do it, Ian! Don't! Oh! Alright, let me look. He looks severely wounded. Okay, I think just two more shots should do it. Bang once. Bang twice. Ian! Ian! Okay. Get the hell out of the way of this. Oh, yeah. Ian. We gotta be careful, man. We are like total ADC right here. Stim pack. Some AP there. I'm coming at him from this angle. Boom. Boom. Rad Scorpion was killed. Let's pick up this. Joink. I feel like there's another thing here. I think we're going to be able to clear this out. Easy peasy. See ya, bam. See ya, boom. God, flipping coins, hitting it every time. Oh, Ian, careful! You gain 500 experience points for stopping the red scorpions. Hell yes! F6, baby. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Alright, let's get, let's head out. Head out. You know, can I just say, we've been playing this game for almost an hour and a half. Let's see, do I want the entrance? 
I think I'm gonna go for the entrance. Ah, most excellent. Just a nice, slow, even pace. Let's talk to Doc Razzle. Can I help you? I have a sample of the red scorpion poison. Can you do something with it? Let me see the sack. Yes, I can do something with this. Hmm, take this as a free sample. It seems to work well against rad scorpion stings. Of course, it shows much potential as a general anti-venom and poison cure. You gain 250 experience for helping make the antidote. And I think that I just, on this guy, use something in my inventory. Where's this antidote? And I heal, I heal the sick brother. You gain 400 experience points for curing Jarvis of his poisoning level up. Oh, awareness is what I'm going for. Look at this. Easy leveling up. You're now more likely to notice details about people. Awareness will give you more detailed information about them when you perform an exam. This lets me see people's hit points. You're more likely to move before your opponents. Nope. Night vision with this perk. You see better in the dark. Increase. Reduce the overall darkness all by 10%. Nope. Quick pockets. You have learned better to store equipment your person with each. This lets me open my inventory more cheaply. This lets me see more on the map. This is shit. Swift learn is a stupid perk. Awareness. Boom. Let's get this up to 100% right away. Herner. Beautiful. Perfect time for a break, is it not? Perfect time for a break. When we return, we're going to play one more segment, and I'm going to run and get some tamales for lunch, I'm thinking. God, I love tamales. We're on a break.